Hi programmers, today we're going to create a little mobile device app using the emulators that come with the development kit um, to create an output file on the device. And then we'll do something later with that file in another video, okay? So first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a new project to our solution. And I'm going to call this Create File 2. I did that and deleted it a second ago because the uh, we'll call it create file three because the video and everything started messing up. So we're going to select uh, Mobile Six Professional, and then we're going to say OK. So it's creating the things, and you can rename the forms and all that other good stuff if you want. We're going to set this as the default startup project. We're going to go into um, our build configuration manager. We're going to unclick one. Okay, just so it, we don't mess it up here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to button. And we'll leave it called button one. I don't care. We're going to say for the text create file. And this program is exactly, exactly like what you do in just plain old vanilla C sharp, okay? And we'll move this up top. We might expand on it later, okay? Um, so we're going to double click this because we're going to do some code in there when that button's clicked. Now this one that I've already did this morning, you do have to add this using in there. And over here, um, it's exactly like what you did in your plain programming. Okay, we have our stream writer file out, and then we create this file, and we're going to name it the name of the program. Um, I'm going to put text in there, Cindy. I'm going to put Cindy 3 since it's the third one. And then when we're done, we're going to throw out a message box show that says file created. Okay. Now we're going to select the device we want to work with. And I'm going to use the square because that is the device that I purchased to practice on. And I'm kind of disappointed with it. I bought a real cheap one because I don't have a smartphone. I just use the cheap old pay-as-you-go route and it doesn't have a data plan and this phone claims have Wi-Fi but I cannot get a signal so anyway I would not recommend it to anyone unless you have a data plan and plus it's a real big bulky phone so you really can't use it as a phone uh, I just bought it with to practice mobile programming with so and it's fine for that but nothing else Okay, we're running it, and it's gonna. It takes a little bit of time, especially on this first time. Um, we're gonna deploy emulator. And it, it does take. This is a old XP that I did my recording on and so I guess it does take on okay here is the device emulator it looks exactly like a regular device okay and in the second we'll and the program is going to start churning but it it does take a little bit so, there we go and I already had a data directory in there because I'd been practicing with it and if I did not it would not have I would have got an error message but I'll show you in a second Create a file. This file created. Okay. Now let's go look for it. Alrighty. So we're going to say click this thing and we're going to say programs. We're going to say file explorer. And you can see 
we've got our ten, uh, data directory somewhere. I know we do. There it is at the bottom. Because it would not, if I had not created the data directory, it wouldn't. And you create directories just like you do in Windows. Like you just click menu and what, add new folder, and then you name it whatever you want. But let's double click. And so this was the program I was working on earlier. And this is one we just did, Cindy 3. And it opens it up in Word. And if you don't like it, if I was to edit it and save it, it would save it as a Word document. And that I hadn't figured out how to get it to read that. I'm just using text files right now. Alrighty. So and here's the one I did earlier today to practice with. So and and it's kind of neat, you know. You can fiddle around. You can kind of learn. Or, you know, it's just like a regular little PC. So anyway, we're gonna get out of that, and I'm gonna call it quiz because it takes a long time to uh, get out, and we'll try to read that file later. Bye.